All right, welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I've got a um, simple little math puzzle here. It starts out, I bought a cow for $800. So the problem is, you have a cow. Um, it says, I bought a cow for $800. I sold the cow for $1,000. I bought the cow again for $1,100. I sold the cow again. For $1,300, how much did I profit? There's a couple ways to look at it. Um, first of all, you can look at the first sale. 1,000 minus 800 equals 200. Uh, there was a second uh, buy and sell. 1,300 minus 1,100 equals 200. So between those two buy sells, uh, you have 200 plus 200 equals 400. So the profit was $400. Another way to look at it would be to um, subtract everything he spent and add everything that uh, he brought in. And uh, that would be negative 800 plus 1,000 because you sold it. Uh, you bought it again, negative 1,100, sold it, plus 1,300. That comes out to $400. Uh, keep in mind, it does not matter how much money you start with, as long as you can make the purchases, you will profit $400. Um, there's a number of common wrong answers. Uh, $300 is a very common wrong answer. It's not correct. Um, it bothers some people that he spent $100 more on the second purchase, so they blindly subtract another $100 without thinking it, thinking it through. The math is simply negative 800 plus 1,000 minus 1,100 plus 1,300 equals 400. Uh, some people cannot resist subtracting another 100 for no good reason. So they're doing negative 800 plus 1,000 minus 1,100. Then they're tossing in another negative 100 plus 1,300. And then they're getting you know, 300. Uh, keep in mind... He could have made, um, you know, had he bought the uh, cow originally at 800, sold it again at 1300, he could have made $500. So what a lot of people aren't taking into consideration is that $100 is already accounted for. He only made 400 instead of a possible 500. So think about it. If he bought it for 800. And had sold it for thirteen hundred, he could have made five hundred, but he had to put out an extra one hundred dollars in his second purchase. So that's why that drops from five hundred to four hundred. So some people are just subtracting at a second time for no reason. Um, another common answer that's incorrect is five hundred. Um, this one's kind of a strange one. Um, I've seen some people, uh, for some unknown reason, some people think that because it is the same cow, it only matters what he spent at the beginning and then what he sold it for at the end, which is a, a terrible assumption. Some people are just looking at it and going, well, he paid 800 at the first time and sold it the last time at 1300 so he must have made 500 But they're forgetting about the second uh, purchase he had to make for 1100 So it's, it's two sales. Uh, you can't ignore the fact that there were two sales. It doesn't matter if it was the same cow, two cows, 20 cows, uh, a giraffe and a zebra. Um, it's irrelevant. The only thing that matters in this problem is that there were two different sales. So you have to treat each separately or add up the total spent and the total amount of money brought in. Um, so we kind of already covered covered that. Um, and again, it makes no difference how much money you started with. Um, there's, a, there's a multitude of other wrong responses, uh, some of them involving even losing money. I've seen some answers where people say, well, he lost $100. And I don't know where they're getting that. They're not really figuring the math. Um, and keep in mind, nobody knows how much money um, this person had in his wallet or in the bank or sewn in his mattress, or her mattress, okay? Um, 
the the sales occurred in the past, so we have to assume that he had enough money. He either had a you know plenty of money in the bank, or he bought, was able to borrow it with no interest. We have no idea. Um, so you know, count out some pennies, pretend they're a hundred dollar bills, or you know, use Monopoly money if you need to to count it out and figure out why it's four hundred and not three hundred, not six hundred not 500, not not any of the other um, incorrect answers. Um, and keep in mind, too, the problem didn't say you only had $1,000 to start with. Um, we have no idea how much money <clears throat> this person started with, and it's irrelevant. You know, you could start with any amount of money as an assumption. You know, we don't know. This person, maybe they only had $1,000. We don't know. Let's say, let's assume he... They only had a thousand. So if you buy the cow for eight hundred, one thousand minus eight hundred is you're going to have two hundred dollars left over. Uh, if you sell the cow for a thousand again, then you're going to have one thousand plus two hundred equals twelve hundred. So you started at a thousand, you've ended up with twelve hundred already after the first sale. So you've already made two hundred dollars profit if you walked away right there. But he buys the cow again for eleven hundred dollars, so we know that he had twelve hundred at this point. Twelve hundred minus eleven hundred equals one hundred dollars remaining. Um, if he sells this cow again for thirteen hundred, now he's going to have his original hundred dollars plus thirteen hundred equals fourteen hundred. So now at the end of that second sale, he's up. At, he's got fourteen hundred dollars. Well, he started at a thousand, now has fourteen hundred. What's the difference? The difference is four hundred dollars. So the total profit is the fourteen hundred minus a thousand equals fourteen hundred. So you know, you know, work out a ledger. Use five thousand to start with. Use a hundred thousand to start with. It doesn't matter. Uh, here's an example: a uh, million dollars. Let's assume he's got a million dollars somewhere. Buys the cow for eight hundred dollars. That means he has ninety nine hundred and ninety nine thousand two hundred dollars left. Uh, sells the cow for a thousand. Take nine hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred plus a thousand is one million two hundred dollars. Um, he's already made two hundred dollars profit from the first sale. Doesn't seem like a lot when you have a million, but he went from a million to one million two hundred dollars. So let's say. Uh, he um, buys the cow again for eleven hundred, so one million two hundred dollars minus eleven hundred equals nine hundred and ninety nine thousand one hundred, and that's what's left. Um, but now he turns around and sells the cow a second time for thirteen hundred, so nine hundred and ninety nine thousand one hundred plus thirteen hundred equals one million four hundred dollars. So what do you think happens here? He's ending up with one million four hundred dollars when he started with one million. The difference once again is four hundred dollars. That's the constant. Doesn't matter how much you started with. You're you're spending the same amount. You're bringing in the same amount. You're looking at the difference between those numbers. The the, the original starting amount is irrelevant. Here's another one. I can keep doing these all day. Let's assume he's only got 800. Buys the cow for 800. Now has zero dollars left. Nothing left. But he sells the cow for a thousand. So now he's got one thousand dollars, right? So he went from having 800 to now having a thousand. So he's made 200 dollars already. 200 dollars profit from the first sale. Now he's only got a thousand, and the cow is being sold for eleven hundred. So he's got to borrow a hundred dollars from his uncle Cletus to be able to buy it. So one hundred plus his thousand equals eleven hundred. Uh, he can now buy the cow for eleven hundred dollars, uh, but now he's not going to have any money left. Right? He's out. Uh, but he's able to sell the cow for a little bit more. He sells it for thirteen hundred. So instead of having no money. He's got 1300 once again. Keep in mind, he's got to pay his uncle Cletus back 
the hundred dollars he borrowed. So if you subtract a hundred dollars from the thirteen hundred he has, he's down to twelve hundred dollars. Look up at the very top again. We assume that he started with eight hundred. Now at the very bottom, at the end of the two sales, he's got twelve hundred. He's already paid his uncle Cletus back the hundred dollars he borrowed. So twelve hundred minus eight hundred is four hundred dollars. One last one for anybody who is still doubting this. Um, let's assume he has no money. He's got to borrow everything. But let's assume his uncle Cletus is nice and he's going to let him borrow the money with no interest, okay? So he has to borrow the 800 from Uncle Cletus uh, to buy the cow. Um, he does that and he has $0 left, nothing. But he's able to sell the cow for 1000 so now he has $1,000, but Uncle Cletus wants his 800 back right away. So he takes this $1,000, pays Uncle Cletus 800 He's got $200 left out of that. So from starting at no money, he's got $200 now. So he's already made $200 profit from that first sale. Is Are we starting to see a pattern? Um, I'm hoping so. Um, so now he's got 200 but now the cow is going to be sold for 1100 Well, he doesn't have enough money, so he's got to go back to Uncle Cletus and borrow $900. So with the 900 from Uncle Cletus plus the 200 profit he had from the first uh, sale, he now has 1100 So he buys the cow the second time, and he buys it for 1100 So he's got, um, once he buys it, though, he's got no money left, right? He's spent the 1100 but then he turns around and sells the cow for thirteen hundred. So he goes from having he goes from having no money, he's back to thirteen hundred. But he has to pay Uncle Cletus back that nine hundred he borrowed. So remember he had to borrow the nine hundred to go back and buy that uh, cow for eleven hundred. So he pays Uncle Cletus back the nine hundred. So you subtract nine hundred from thirteen hundred. You have 400. So after paying off his debts, after paying Uncle Cletus back all his money, he went from zero dollars at the very beginning to having 400 dollars in his pocket. So his total profit is 400. Once again. All right. So I'm hoping um, that those uh, uh, descriptions were helpful. I mean, it's uh, Work through a ledger, um, act like it's a checkbook or something, and work through it. You're going to find out that you're going to get $400. Um, all those other answers, there's really no no basis for any of them. Um, I've seen lots of people say 300 500 600 a lost money. Um, those are all incorrect answers, and there's, there's no math that can support those. So um, I hope that was helpful. Um, the Math Puzzle Crash Course is on YouTube and Facebook, and I'd appreciate uh, any likes. Feel free to share links to the videos, and uh, subscriptions are always welcome. Thank you, and have a great day.